Hello everybody. Sorry, this is a little bit later than I anticipated. Poor little Winston has been unwell. I think he has some kind of tummy bug. So we've been back and forth to the vets a few times and he's just on like a prescription diet and he got some medicine this morning. So hopefully he will be all better very soon. Um, yeah, basically this video has been edited for like over a week, but I just don't have an intro, so here it is. <laughs> I really hope that you enjoy. I just quickly wanted to say, it probably looks like I'm being a bit mean to Winnie when I'm not letting him take certain toys outside. Like he gets a toy delivery and it was one that if it was to get into the gross leaking water in the driveway I wouldn't be able to clean it so just for the time being while we're not sure where the water is coming from in case it is sewage we are just letting him have toys that can easily be washed outside and then obviously oh he's barking at someone walking past lovely um <clears throat> obviously all the other toys inside that is not the case always normally it's just he can take whichever toys he likes inside or outside anyway the other thing the other thing i just quickly wanted to say as well it might seem like i'm being a bit negative i don't know it felt to me that way when everything all happens at once like that i think it's really hard to remain positive i always try my best to be a positive person but it is what it is and obviously i'm completely fine now but it was just a little bit hard at the time and i'm not going to edit out how i felt because that's just what happened but anyway i'm going to stop rambling and upload this video for you guys hope you enjoy and i'll try and get the next one up as soon as I can. Talk to you soon. I should be putting this in my rug. So we're gonna skip. Here's some of the stuff. This is all the stuff that you've collected, isn't it? Yeah. And we just threw our movie boxes there too. We don't have anywhere to store them. Um, that shed. You can't open the doors can't really use it. It needs ripping down but it's full of asbestos so we need to save up so we can pay somebody to do that. And the driveway is just all sloshy mud. We don't know why, there's some kind of drainage problem I think. Here's the boxes we lined up to make a path when we moved in from the moving truck to go in the gate down there. Can I swing in? All the water's like, it's leaking through here. We don't know why because it hasn't rained for a bit. But that's what is going on. Hello, sweetheart. So big. Yeshua. I think he's ready for a nap. Also, if you can see his eyes streaming, he has allergies and we think it might be pollen because he's not actually from Toowoomba. Um, and the vets are aware, there's just not a lot they can do while well, he's this little. So you reckon. Oh yeah, all this will fit because those boxes will squash down. Yeah. I think it just looked like they were taking up more space. But all down the side and behind the shed as well, isn't it? It's just full. Like building rubble. So glad I bought those gloves that Kyle's wearing. I bought me a pair too, but I'm still not well enough to be out helping him. I'm very fatigued. And there's my pot plants at the moment. Keeping them here, trying to keep them out of Winston's reach. 
I don't know if you can see how like wet it is, but that is a problem for the future. I can't see how full you've got it so far. I'm just trying to get the heavy wood on top now just to push it down a bit. That's like half full. Oh yeah, squash the branches down. Thank you. I don't know if you can see the water up there. Let's see if I can zoom in. All like in that area. It's just soaking wet. Ugh, what have we done? They are just random bits of wood, aren't they? Yeah, they're all different. Like we don't even know what they have come from. Hmm. Interesting. You guys, she's full. This isn't even all of it. This is probably, would you say this might be half of like the just junk that's left? Because there's all behind the shed. Yeah. And that's. How many cubic meters is this? Six. Six cubic meters. And it's not it's not cheap either. What did we pay? Was it five hundred dollars for this skip? Wow. Be careful. <laughs> what was it? Was it five hundred or five fifty for this? Five. Yeah, that's so much money. We've got at least another one this size. So it's costing us like probably a thousand dollars just to get rid of just junk in the yard. And here's our baby boy. Are you so tired? He won't go in for a nap. I think he will when Kyle comes in. Hopefully he'll have a big sleep. He's just had his lunch. Oh, okay. You're just gonna crawl? <laughs> oh, Winston. You're so funny. Is that comfy? What you doing? Solid chunk of carrot I gave him worked really well though. Oh, you're a sweetheart, aren't you? Is that nice? We might have to loosen your collar, you've grown. I have put my fingers in to check. There still is enough room, but I don't know. It looks like he's got a bit of a roll there, so maybe we'll loosen it a tiny bit today. So we heard this sound. I thought it was the washing machine. <laughs> oh, can you even see? I guess we're not having showers today. That's the hot water system. Goodbye, money. <laughs> oh, if we don't laugh about it, we will cry. Oh. We've also had like. The dog is soaking wet. Oh, <laughs> Winston. <laughs> Kyle was trying to turn the. Can you please try again on that tile? What do you mean? I Down did. there. Well, you must have turned it full on and you need to turn it the other way then. I think it's full of water. Winston, leave it. What the hell's that? It's <laughs> Why is it under so much pressure? I know, because dodgy DIY plumbing. <laughs> you need an umbrella. Come here, Winnie. Stay out of it. <laughs> <coughs> um, yeah, we've also got some kind of rodents that came in to visit the house last night. So I've been disinfecting the kitchen this morning. Let me get my phone. I'm going to try and find them. Wow. Are you cold now, Winston? You're so 
is soaking wet, you silly boy. Oh dear. What else could go right? <laughs> Hello everybody. It's Thursday, I think. Yeah, I'm just waiting for our IKEA, Ikea delivery of the wardrobes. I've just got a handful of um, Winnie's dry food because I was going to do some training with him. Just some practice of his tricks, but he's decided he would prefer to just sit on the back of the couch instead. So, fine. You can have it your way, Winnie. You? you just sit up there. His little ear is like turning. It's so cute. He's listening to me. Uh, I'll just put those back in his cup on the mantelpiece. I haven't brushed my hair today. I actually am just waiting for Kyle to come home so I can have a shower. Um, it's only like lunchtime. He'll be home around four or five, I assume, depending on how busy it is. It's a little bit short staffed at work at the moment. So I guess he just has to stay until it dies down a bit. I'm, I'm not really sure. We live in a much quieter area than before. But I tell you what, I've heard quite a few cars going past today. I've got two heaters on currently. Where is it? This one. That little one there is so good. We got it from Bunnings. We nicknamed it Wally. Because it's got like a little screen and it has a remote too, which is really cool. And then this one up here, because our ceilings are so high, We've actually been talking to a air cotton guy because we had to get this one fixed. It needed regassing, so just another thing in an old house. But actually, he was surprised it needed repairing because he said it's not very old at all. We're actually getting it put probably about that height in that gap between the window and the door. He'll center it there for us. Because the ceilings are so high, he said, he likes to bring the air conditioner down lower and it will just heat and cool the room more efficiently. Whereas if it's up above the window like that, all right, gosh. If it's up above the window like that, it actually is only heating the air like up at the top of the ceiling. Are you chewing my pillow? Where is he? Excuse me. Ah uh ah. -uh. No sir. Here. Chew this. Not my finger. You can chew that. Chew the bone. Yes. No, not my fingers. Because you hurt when you bite. Yeah, you have that. He's making me hold it for him little thing who's actually teething at the moment i just we got this like puppy like ow spray stuff that you put inside kong toys and he loves it it's the only way i can describe it it's like fake american spray cheese yeah come down here you should just <laughs> loves the back of the couch you better not be chewing that cushion i told you not to Oh dear, I'm gonna have to um, redirect my puppy's behavior in a second. He's being very cheeky, but um, yeah, he's actually getting his back teeth in and they've been giving him a lot of grief. He really chomps down. Uh oh, Winston, ah, look at him, pretending. Pretending is ah uh, no. Right, I'm gonna see if he'll do some training and just distract him completely from what he's doing right now. Good afternoon. It's Friday. It's like quarter to one, I think. I'm pretty sure that I'm technically now out of isolation, which is great. So I had my test at 11:40 last Friday. Um, 
but I still won't be going anywhere today. I'm still not feeling 100%. Sorry I kind of cut it short yesterday. I was feeling really unwell. Like just my chest was so tight. It was freezing cold. I've got two jumpers on again today. I had to put two on yesterday because it was like 11 degrees and it was just this really cold wind and I couldn't stop coughing. I just felt really not great. Winston's currently chewing my aloe vera plant. Thankfully, I know they're not poisonous. Hey, Winston, what's this? <laughs> what have we got up here? We've had a delivery. I've never ordered from this company before. It's called Pet Culture. Um, basically, we feel like all we do is buy him toys. We've spent so much money on them and yet he has nothing to play with. So we ordered a whole bunch. Oh wow, Winston. You know something good's coming when I say that. <laughs> Are you excited? Oh yes, good seat. Some of these were quite expensive, but I know they're supposed to be good quality. Like anything that is cotton brand, it is good quality. They do last a bit longer. He has quite a few cotton toys. So here we go. Wow. That actually looks way better than I thought it would. <laughs> so we've got this rope toy. He's, I think I mentioned he's been having allergies, so we got him this shampoo, which was recommended from the vet, because I can't really give him anything. He's too young. We've got this for outside. So we got a, we wanted to get a mix of inside and outside toys. We've got, oh. I'm pretty sure I only ordered one bag. Maybe I ordered the big bag, and then they gave me two little bags instead. This thing, pretty sure you can put treats in and it feels like it's a different texture in his mouth, which is also what we've tried to go for. Um, so you could use it as a fetch toy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, chew, play fetch. I'm pretty sure you could put treats in it. Uh, I've got this little one for him to chew. Winston. Hey, do not chew my chair. Yes, I'm gonna have to give him something. We got this, that'll be outside. I got him this one to chew as, ooh, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but that's okay. It's latex and I think they're supposed to be a tiny bit longer lasting, but still safe for little puppy teeth. I might give him that as pretty cute. I need to cut the tag off. Um, we got this one also for like, you can chew, we can play tug of war and fetch. And then this one, it's called Bob a lot. It's, you put treats in and they like hit it and the treats fall out. Oh, actually, I think I'm gonna give him this one. I think he will enjoy chewing that. What do you think? I gotta cut the tag off. Hang on a minute. Wait. Oh dear. Okay. He's really excited for it. You ready? Here you go. Wow. No, you're not going outside with it. No. That's it. Gotta be an inside one. Oh, we can do tug of war with that too. Yeah. That. That's it. Good boy. <coughs> That's another thing we really wanted was something, not just things he could chew, he really needs things he could chew at the moment with his teething, but um, you know, we can play tug of war with that. We can throw it and he can fetch it. He really likes that. 
Does that feel nice on your teeth? Does it? You're a good boy. You guys, I will show you the wardrobes. Like, there are so many boxes. They're all out on the front veranda currently. They've been there since late yesterday afternoon. I'm just going to turn off the little heater and just leave the big one on. So I'm, I'm actually getting a little bit warm. But I need to stay warm because, yeah, I find I can't stop coughing otherwise. Um, he's going to have that destroyed in like a few minutes, I swear. I don't think it was very expensive, that one. Eco-friendly, 100% biodegradable and recyclable natural jute rope. Well, I am not gonna recommend that one. We'll probably be taking it off him pretty soon, I would say. Yeah, the wardrobes are out on the veranda. I'll show you how many boxes there are. Um, we left them out there overnight because there's a lot of them and they're heavy. Kyle got home late, but I will show you when he gets home because he's on his way now. He just texted me before like, oh, yeah, I'm leaving now. And also I got a message saying Winnie's new toys arrived. So that'll be really good. I'm really excited that he's coming home early. It's a nice surprise. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go out there while well, it's just me with this guy. Cause then he will want to come out and yeah, we're just trying to keep him off the front veranda. Cause I do have a monstera plant out there, which he tries to bite and I'm pretty sure they're toxic to dogs, which never used to be a problem with Diesel. He didn't care about plants, but when he puts absolutely everything in his mouth, he bites everything. And I swear when he's teething, it just multiplies by about a hundred, but yeah, that's the update for today. Not too exciting. I've just been trying to keep him entertained. I started doing a little bit of research for my assignment. It's so frustrating, honestly. I've got like five questions left to answer. It's so hard to find the information I'm looking for. I know what it is I'm looking for, but it's been very difficult to find and I can really only do that when he is asleep, which I'm so glad I did get an iPad. I felt really bad for having one and I felt like I didn't deserve it, but actually, oh, he just like flipped forward off the couch, he's fine. Um. Yeah, I don't know why I felt like that. I was just, I didn't think that I deserved it, but I use it quite a lot, actually. Oh, are you gonna get zoomies now? Oh dear. I think he's got zoomies with it. Oh, <laughs> careful. Do you like that one? Is that fun? Yeah, it's almost ruined already. I'm pretty sh I am pretty sure that was like fairly cheap. I hope so. Because it's almost ruined. Any pieces he pulls off, obviously, I will put in the bin, but for now, he's enjoying it and he's always supervised with his toys. But yeah, I think I was about to say, I'll, that's all I really have to update you on for now and I will just show you the wardrobes. Like, it's just a bunch of boxes basically, but I'll show you those soon. Um, yeah, I think I need to play with this guy because he's getting crazy. It's never a good thing when he gets zoomies. He gets crazy and destructive. Gotta go. Also, I think I forgot to show this. We got the new, whoa. I have no idea what spooked all those birds. Anyway, 
before I got distracted, I was just saying we got the new hot water system. We really need to do something about this. I'm so scared that Winston is going to fall in one of the gaps here, but that's just how it was when we got here, unfortunately. Yeah, this, we haven't got the invoice yet, but I know the unit itself was like $1,600. It's just the reality, isn't it, of owning a 100-year-old home, I guess. But this one's had a lot of dodgy DIYs. But you can just tell they've done such a good job with installing it. Like, new copper pipe, everything. It just looks really good and neat. And our water pressure isn't so crazy now. Before we would just turn off, turn the tap on and it would just spray us everywhere. And now it's, I think it's um, sorted itself out. But see this like cap thing here? The one on the other one just shot up in the air and water exploded everywhere. I'm pretty sure I did get footage of that. I mean, we laughed at the time, but we won't be laughing when we get the invoice for it. But you know, we know that those kinds of things can happen and honestly. Honestly, I'm just thankful that we even have a house that we own. These things happen. Kyle did a really good job mowing and tidying up the yard the other day. This was all just full of like sticks and leaves and crap. Here's the side of the house. This is the good side. <laughs> the other side is like the rat side. But yeah, we'll have to sand it all back. Sand it all back and repaint. And then we do have drainage issues. So after the explosion and then the rain we've had over the past couple of two days, this is the slushy mess we're left with. In the driveway, see all the water is coming in here. I don't know how well you can see that. It's coming in from like the driveway area. Kyle dumped some of the lawn clippings on here to try and soak up some water, but I don't think it made a difference. Skip got picked up this morning. My plants are here, safe and sound from Winston. Oh, that's nice, Winnie. Well, at least he did the poo I've been waiting for him to do for like half the day. So that's a plus. <laughs> oh, you crack me up, dog. Yeah, it's a really nice big yard for him. He keeps finding random things. We do supervise him out here because he'll just put anything in his mouth actually found he had like a rusty nail earlier on and it had a piece of plastic or something on it and he was chewing it and I was just freaking out and he was running away from me because he knows now that I'm going to take things out of his mouth so that was a fun time I forgot to say we had all the trees cut back before we moved in as well so I don't even know the last time that was done but they weren't supposed to cut this one that was supposed to be left and they were supposed to do that one in the corner over there what are you eating now there's just so many old like bits and pieces but the hedges look really good too here's the front of the house i can't remember if i showed it after kyle pulled off the trellis that was all along here <coughs> what are you doing oh my goodness you guys we did google this type of hedge Kyle looked it up he's got like one of those plant identifying apps he looked it up so we knew what type it was and then we googled and thankfully it is not toxic because he chews it all the time don't you Winston 
got to get these tiles off of these stairs. They're just broken and they look yucky. Anyway, I wish I could show you the gate from this side, but someone's put a piece of tin on it. Eventually we'll take that off, but it's a raw iron gate. I think it might even be the original. Look at the garden arbor. It's so pretty. I can't wait. Kyle and I are going to restore it because some of the timber is a bit rotten. These pieces up here. I think we're going to replace some of those. And we'll pressure wash it and repaint it all. Got some random like little seats here. Doesn't quite make sense having them where this gate is. keep them and then we might have to end up replacing the mailbox because I mean you can clean that but it's all like cracked and weird especially on the front it's a strange texture I think someone might have painted over it at one point I don't know but it's all looking much tidier in here than it did when we arrived, the hedges look really good. Kyle did a really good job on them. We were talking the other day about if we had enough money, we'd love to close in this little front area. Because that would give us an additional like living area, essentially. Like a closed-in sunroom. So, I don't know maybe in the future but for now we just can't afford it because we have to we don't know if we need to restump or just have the house re-leveled the builder who did our inspection says the stumps are okay but they need like ripping out and then putting back in and then the house needs to be re-leveled so I don't know but I feel like you're not supposed to do stuff like this like that block underneath I'm pretty sure this is what they call the ant capping and it should be sitting like directly on top of the stump someone can correct me if they know if I'm wrong but yeah it's just all so uneven and I don't know if you can see in there down the side of the house but for some reason it's all open none of that is closed in which is why Kyle's just found some of the scrap metal shit in the yard and <laughs> just tied it here just temporarily until we can close that in so we might have to make that a priority but to be honest I don't really want to go down there because rats what it looks like down the side we had all this cut right back to so the rats probably didn't appreciate that either oh they're so gross even like oh, just every sound I'm triggered you guys I'm just about to submit my assignment I can't believe it I'm not feeling that confident if I'm being completely honest but I th I think I'll pass I'm just the marks that I expect of myself, I probably won't achieve. Um, but it, it just needs to get done because I've still got like 10 more modules. The good thing I have found is that you can purchase an extension. I'd say I, I would have to do that. Winnie is outside entertaining himself. Don't worry, I keep checking him every like five to 10 minutes to make sure He's okay and he is most of the time he's just out sun baking but anyway i'm gonna upload my files um course assignment two so part a upload submit okay it has been submitted <laughs> I can now download my next module though and I'm going to use that money for himself now. So I might download my next module now. There we go. Submitted. 
literally spent three months. To be fair, everything has been going on. It shouldn't have taken that long, but <sighs> here's the main culprit. You guys, I'm just doing a little bit of prayer training with Winston at the moment. He's got the other half of a bully stick. So he's doing really well. I'm just periodically walking in and then out again, trying to desensitize him to me leaving. But I did show you, I mean, I didn't show you. I did say I would show you the wardrobes. They're still out here in the veranda. I've also just noticed my monster plant is looking quite sad out here. We haven't got anywhere else to put it, so yeah, it's gonna be kept away from Winnie. But I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you all these boxes. I have no idea how we're gonna get this done. Oh, 46 of 48, okay, 48 pieces or boxes, parts. So here we go. <coughs> Everything's here. And it's just like all the hinges for the doors. Yeah, I think that's all that's in there. The rails. I think we've got a couple of like pull out shelf bits. So that's it for this week's video. I've kind of just been filming when I can, so there's not necessarily always an intro and outro, so adding that here as well. I told you guys it was a lot this week. It just felt like every time one thing happened, we would get that fixed and then something else big would happen straight after, but I guess that's to be expected in a hundred year old house. Please don't chew the door stopper. Oh dear. I'm going to start editing the next vlog now. So hopefully I'll have that up for you very soon. Thank you so much for watching and I really appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Bye.